Hey everyone, today we're heading up to the Hoosick Train Tunnel in Florida, Massachusetts. I want to see what their culvert and rivers around there look like. Because right now we're in the top biggest drought in the area. 2022 is the driest year on record. The river I'm passing over right now is almost dried up completely. It's only got a little trickle. We should be there in about 20 minutes. All right, everyone, we made it to the area of the Hoosick train tunnel. I'm very happy we were able to make it here before sundown. It's about 7.45 p.m., which means we have about a good half an hour, 45 minutes before it gets too dark. Got my large camera light and headlight on. I want to see how much this is flowing. I'm curious. If it's flowing, that means a lot of this is probably spring water from the mountains. But I bet it's going to be low. The few times I checked it in the past years, when it's been dry out, it's been pretty low. The river across the street, where the train goes over, is actually higher than expected. But that actually makes sense when I was looking at the drought monitor. Very, very far western mass in New York. They're actually in a minor drought. So that makes sense because we're very close to New York. Yeah, this is a lot higher than the drought of 2020. So I guess the drought of 2020 affected New York and Massachusetts a lot more. This drought seems to be affecting Massachusetts, uh, but not, I forget what county I'm in. I'll put it on the screen. This county doesn't seem to be as affected by the drought. But northern New England's pretty bad. Far western Vermont would probably be in that area where it's typically not as bad. Oh, it looks like the train company hasn't fixed this issue since the last time we've been here. We unclogged this culvert a few times in the past, and each time I said, that is stupidly undersized. They have a... That actually, I think, is not even a culvert. This is like one of those pipes you'd put around your house, because see... Culvert pipe don't bend like that. This, is, this looks like one of those things you put to drain water around your house. Yeah, I can't feel anything in there. This thing's blocked probably at the joint where it connects with the pipeline over here. See, they have this long electrical tube, because that's what the gray PVC means, electrical. It looks like it got smashed by something, maybe plowing in the winter or something dragging. It's coming over here and it's going in this drain, which thankfully is not clogged yet. This rail's getting pretty badly beaten. But as I said over the past few years, it's starting to happen. This ground is getting very soft under these train tracks. Look at this. All these ties are sitting in mud. And that's not good. It's not good at all. It's a good amount of water here. And this is going to cause a nightmare for the train company in the next few years. Every single time, it's worse. Every time I used to come here... The water was being picked up through the tunnel, through the mountain. Because this tunnel, until the halfway point, that is slant. Halfway point, it slants the other side so it can never flood. See this water here pouring out of the hill? Guess where that's coming from? This right here is acting as a dam. Holding back the stream. They have massive clogs on their trash racks that they have not unclogged in what looks like by the evidence many decades and eventually when there's a big storm you see that coming out of the hill it's going to undermine this entire hill they're going to be in trouble big storm it'll deposit so much debris onto the tracks that trash rack up there see how built up it is that raised the river up so now there's a good portion of it probably coming here soaking the ground penetrating through this hill but now let me show you guys how exactly it's coming through this hill. 
I wouldn't be surprised if there's even hollow voids and cavities in this hill. As you can see, it's pretty low here. It looks like the railroad company tried to fix this with a few bags of sand. Yeah. Throw $10 worth of sandbags at the problem instead of trying to do something else. Great. This trash rack right here. Look where I'm standing. Oh, a frog. I'm standing probably six feet higher than I should be. Yep, this trash rack hasn't been unclogged in such a long time. Look at all the sediment here. See this nice rock wall? It used to continue. It washed out around it during high flow. See how that erosion? Water was way up here gushing around that. Eventually this wall's gonna fail. And as soon as it finds a good way through, it's gonna start eroding all this years of sediment right onto the train tracks. I can't wait until the railroad company finally sees that there's this much of a problem. I believe that is owned by Norfolk Southern now. Well, that's who I reported it to last year. The problem has progressed and become so much worse now at this point. Look at that void. That's going to keep getting worse and worse until the whole wall collapses. That goes in there a good couple feet. Big problem. <clears throat> Water should be pouring out over the rock. All that should be cleared off. There's the grounding rod <clears throat> from the power line. That That is actually still active. That's supplying power to the signal tower in the center of the tunnel. I'm coughing over mosquitoes. <clears throat> I sucked in a few mosquitoes as I'm breathing. And this is really nice. The craftsmanship they had back then was just incredible. This was all built in the 1800s, but yet it's still here today because of their craftsmanship. If the train company would just throw maybe 20% of the money it would cost to redo this entire thing, they could save this. This beautiful work inside here, right here, old 1800s train rail. They don't use train rails that small typically anymore unless it's a short line. Um, right here, I believe, is water that is able to seep through that piece of junk culvert I showed. It's not even a culvert, it's, it's junk. Oh, that ain't good either. Look at this. So much water coming out of the hill. That means the ground underneath these train tracks is just absolutely soaked oh yeah it's still coming out you can really see it now that the water's so low that's not a good thing either look right here this is a plunge pool that i don't know if it's by design or not but to me if it's by design it's to slow down the speeding water here especially during storms so it's not blasting causing tons of erosion inside the tunnel we're about to enter this right here looks like an old culvert oh what's that that actually looked like a set of eyes at first, the shiny part of that manhole structure. But this culvert looks like it would have gone all the way underneath the tracks. Doesn't look like it's in use at all anymore. The erosion here, you see, it has exposed one of the train rail reinforcements. That's a great idea of them. Train rails are very strong. Here's the water pouring from across the tracks where I showed it going down that drain after it crosses through that electrical tube. Now we're about to enter the tunnel where I expect to see tons of black widows. Thankfully our camera and headlamp are at 100%. This should not take that long to across. No pass. Oh wow. It says not the pass in here. There must have been a no trespassing sign at the train track. The tra railway had a long time ago, but there's a hiking trail there and even parking, so. All right, see, there's some small stalactites. Oh, there's a ton of black widows. They must love it in here. There's a cool breeze sucking all kinds of insects. There's a lot of fl annoying flying insects. A lot of people say to me, hey, Post 10, there's no black widows up there in New England. There are. You're probably thinking of the really dangerous southern black widow. There are western black widows. 
and northern black widows. The southern one by far is the most deadly. The ones up here can kill a small child, but typically if you're a healthy adult, it'll just swell up a bit. At least that's what happened when I got bit by one. And I'm very careful now. I, I have permethrin spray on me. So if one did go on me, it would probably just jump right off, being uncomfortable. Yep, see, through the entire tunnel, you can see Black Widows. One, two, three, four. These guys are huge, too. You gotta stop and admire. Look at the craftsmanship. This entire thing is a dome. Most of its strength is just by this arch structure. This part of the culvert is in really good condition. It's a very awesome place to be. There's a little bit of debris in here. Not bad, though. <gasps> oh, wow. Beaver cut debris. I wonder if there's a beaver pond further up there. You know, like up in the mountain, a beaver pond? We'll check that out on a visit in the future when we have more daylight to do so. Or maybe a lot of beavers use this to get back and forth from the pond to the river. As you can see on the camera screen, there's a very annoying amount. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh. See that rock right there? To me, I thought that was like a dead fisher cat. Or a beaver at first, that dark rock. What is this? It kind of looks like a duck nest, right? Yeah. Weird. There's a lot more water than I expected in here, but it looks like the drought in very far western mass is not that bad. At least not yet. But we're foreca they're forecasting a very dry rest of the year. All right, no more crouching. See down there, the ceiling starts off at about four feet. Now it's at about seven feet. I can walk nice and comfortably here. By the time we get to the end, I believe the ceiling is closer to 10 feet or so. It's starting to get loud in here because there's a small waterfall created by years of erosion I will show you. It's always fun to come in here at least once a year for an update video since the damage, especially what I showed down there, is getting progressively worse and worse. This is a nice tunnel. This will last hundreds of more years. They just have to do a little bit of maintenance to the bottom of these retaining walls. Whoa, what is that? What is in the middle of the culvert? Is that a chair or a plastic table? That's scary. It scared me. I didn't know what that was. But this culvert is absolutely littered with beaver debris. That's what all the sticks are. Why are there so many sticks in here? Someday we're definitely going to have to take a walk and see. Yes, it's a chair. I uh, wonder if someone threw it in here or it just blew in the wind because some... Oh, there's a black widow on it. We got to get this guy off so I can remove the chair from the culvert. We're going to take this convenient stick, grab the black widow, throw it there where it can... Okay, this thing is even chewed. Those beavers mean business. This would make a good pooping chair if you made that hole bigger. All right. See, this is causing a lot of erosion, damage. And right here, we are about underneath that little communication building for the railroad. So that's where the sinkhole would open up. Tons and tons of beaver debris in here. When I came in here one year during a bad drought, literally when it hit this, this uh, erosion pool, the water disappeared. And you can tell right now, a lot less water is going down here. That's also dangerous. It's going through the underground, so it could be causing erosion. Maybe not. The ground, if it's very rocky, won't erode easily. You see, the water's been doing this a while. It's made a groove. It's been eroding in here so long. We'll throw this chair back up there so somebody can remove it at some point. And here's another 
very eroded area at the end with a lot more very very fresh beaver sticks that erosion is definitely getting worse almost got the chair stuck wow even more beaver debris all over the place here time to shut my headlamp off so i don't waste the battery anymore <gasps> oh my i gotta get up here so fast the train's coming i gotta see it oh perfect timing not quite i'm gonna be a few seconds late i bet oh chair is in my way going pretty slow. Right, that was a lot of shipping containers. The beginning of the train, all those blue containers were open top dumpsters. It smells so disgusting. They're hauling a bunch of our trash out west to landfills. That was kind of nerve wracking right there. I could see part of the train track bouncing up and down with the weight of every section. That's gonna be a problem at some point. You know what? We got a little bit of daylight left. I have two lights now that are almost completely charged. Let's take a little walk on the hiking trail. This is where the hiking trail goes from the parking lot. They, they will basically just leave you alone as long as you don't enter the tunnel. And that's when they start arresting people. I've been here even when the railroad police have been here. And unless you enter the tunnel, they got no problem with you. People come up here to this tunnel all the time to take photographs of themselves just don't go inside that's when the train company starts arresting people so this right here is the little trail i've never actually done it in my life but let's take a little trip 
there's got to be a beaver up here. You saw that massive amount of debris. I'm already covered in permethrin spray. So let's go on an adventure. We got to figure out where this trail goes. It looks like I got to go up and over this. The area still reeks. Now it's a much more clear hiking trail. You can tell exactly where it is. And look at this trash rack. That's filled up with so much debris. This area here definitely floods up against that wall where I just unclogged. I don't see any erosion evidence at all in the parking lot. That culvert can handle it. It's been handling it for like 150 years. This is a nice hiking trail. Never done it before. Well, I'll show you anything cool along the way. Okay, five minutes up the trail. I don't see a single piece of beaver debris at all. Does anyone think it's a possibility that the beavers clogged that culvert and flooded the canal? Or possibly clogged one of the trash racks even further? Because this far up, I'm not seeing anything. For the most part, this hike would be nice, but I'm going up probably a 40, 45 degree angle. And that's not nice when it's oppressive humidity and it's still 85 out. At least it's starting to flatten out. I'll keep hiking for another 20 minutes, but my hopes of finding a beaver pond are a bit low. I feel like the beavers were clogging somewhere down there since there's no debris in the river up here. I'm about halfway upon coming up on some high tension power lines and by looking at Google map there is no signal in this area, too many mountains, but I have offline maps downloaded. I don't see any sort of beaver pond around, but that is so beautiful. It looks smaller on camera, but that's probably a 10 foot waterfall with a nice swimming hole for a day like this. If I knew I was gonna be doing this, I should have brought some water. Thankfully it's all downhill on the way back. Right here looks like the ground just slipped at one point. I'm sure that didn't help with the build up downstream. Uh, this area of Western Mass I noticed just in the past few weeks they have been putting up a massive amount of moose crossing signs. Are there suddenly more moose in the area? I don't think so. I've never seen one in the state of Massachusetts. But, I'm thinking maybe they're just replacing signs that were stolen over the years. And they're just replacing them all at once. A ton of brand new ones are popping up. Must have been a bad storm. There's a lot of trees uprooted. I just got poked by a short plant. In this very mountainy terrain, I think it's unlikely that a beaver would have come up here. They probably live on the much larger river where the train trestle is, but beavers love to have secondary water supplies, so they probably started something down there near the actual Hoosick Tunnel. Whatever plant I just touched is already making my hand itch like crazy. I wonder what I touched. Yeah. Whoa. We're starting to get closer to the stream now as it starts to get smaller. It's a lot of debris down there, but none of it has anything to do with beavers. I gotta start carrying bear spray in places like this. Massachusetts has had a big uptick this year in bears. 
Oh, this is beautiful. Can't believe all these years I never came up here. There's so many series of waterfalls and pools. This terrain is very rough. Highly unlikely a beaver did anything here. I don't see any beaver debris, nothing. But what is this stuff? That looks so perfect. Is that a dam? I don't know. We're going to check it out. This could be a... Yeah, that looks like... Yeah, that's a piece of wood. It's basically a railroad tie. Look at these metal pieces pounded in. That must have held something at some point. See how they carved that out for that wood? Oh, wow. Look at the size of that waterfall. It's going in both directions. Let's see what's further up here. Very slippery. Look at a piece of train rail sticking out. Not what I expected. I expected there to be a large pond here. What do you guys think? Is that some kind of dam? What is this? See that square hatch? I'm kind of thinking I might be wrong. You guys think that maybe this was a little dam at some point? See, there's concrete here. Yeah, see this? It's even, sh this is a piece of train rail. It's even shiny from rocks pounding against it over storms. Yes, this is a concrete dam, 100%. Yes, it is, 100%. And now, what I'm starting to think this might be, I'm thinking there might probably was a pipeline coming down here, something similar, maybe. And this would have been a pool of water before it filled in with debris and stuff after storms. I'm thinking this was a little reservoir and they would have had a fairly small pipeline going down. I think they may have generated power here. I know back in the day for passenger trains wouldn't get snuffed out by the coal being burned by the steam trains. They actually had electric pushers to get them through the mountain. That may be what all this is. I think this was a small scale hydro project. And I don't know if the trail continues anywhere, but it's treacherous and I'm not going to attempt to go any further at night. This is a beautiful waterfall. I'd estimate maybe 70 or 80 feet. This side maybe 50 feet. I see people here have made a rock wall making a nice little pool. They probably dug this out. It's a beautiful place to take a dip in the summer. How cold is this? Yeah, that's nice cold spring water. Great place to go. It looks like the trail actually does continue here when you step in. I actually got scared earlier that uh, big high boots may have had a hole in them, but it's just so hot out that I'm sweating and I'm like crazy because they have no ventilation. And as soon as I stepped in some cold water, it felt like it was leaking. It wasn't. So this is definitely still a trail. This also looks like a trail, but this looks more like an official trail. Maybe not. We may already be at the destination. This is not the place to fall and get hurt. i tell you that. No signal out here. Someone would find the car eventually and start looking. But I could be out here a while. This is nice. I gotta come up here someday after a flood. I bet all this is underwater. And the mountain's like stairs or Maybe they did that on purpose when they were building the dam. That's definitely a little bit of a trail going up at like a 60, 70 degree angle. 
Very tough one. Looks like you could also maybe get up this. Um, I know when it's darker out, you guys can't see any depth in the camera, but that looks like a good area with footholds. This looks like this has been eroding a lot. A lot of the rocks I'm stepping on now are a bit slippery. It's warm out and a lot of dense rocks start sweating in the cold. They attract a lot of condensation when it's this hot out because they are cold. Okay, we're gonna make our way back to the parking lot now. I'm being a little careful. I hope today's video was interesting, everybody. I'm gonna end the video here. I'm very happy I had enough daytime to actually be able to get out here. And this might be a little slippery. Coming back down here into the pool of water. Thanks for watching everybody, and have a great day. Nice easy way back. All downhill. And I'll have a nice drink before making my way out of here. Wow, it's amazing how much sunlight we actually still have now that we got out of the woods. Just want to quickly show you guys the low water conditions. I just talked to a fisherman. He said he got skunked today. He got a fish towards the end, but it got off the hook. Not a good day to fish. This is actually the lowest I've ever seen the river. I expected it to be a lot lower, honestly, because of the drought in this area. It's not quite as bad. This, there used to be two train tracks here back in the day, believe it or not. There used to be two in the tunnel, but it was very tight. That's why they only have one now, and they carved out the middle so they could send through double stacks. I don't want to walk on the actual walkway. It looks a little suspicious to me. Time to call it a day.